And welcome back to Black Renaissance. Her restaurant is Brown Sugar Kitchen. It has been recognized and praised by CBS's The Talk, The New York Times, and The Wall Street Journal. If you haven't been there, you are missing out on some fantastic fried chicken and some banging beignets. Now, Tanya <laughs> Holland has released a Brown Sugar Kitchen cookbook. Please welcome Tanya Holland. Thank you. I love your restaurant. Oh, I, I appreciate love both that. of them, B sides Thank and you. Brown Sugar Kitchen. Thanks, I appreciate that. Yeah. And you know, I call myself a brunchaholic, and I have to say, Brown Sugar Kitchen <laughs> is up there at the top. <laughs> it is the top when it comes to brunch. So I was so excited to hear about your cookbook. Tell me what inspired you to put all of the recipes that you find in Brown Sugar Kitchen in a book. Well, people kept asking. Um, people kept asking, you know, for the waffle recipe, mm -hmm. for the fried chicken recipe, and we also just felt like it was time. You know, we've been around almost seven years, and we also have a great story that we want to share. We have yeah. great regulars that we're featuring, and um, yeah, it just came together very organically, just like the restaurant. That's fantastic. Yeah. It's a beautiful book, and Thank it's a you. beautiful restaurant with great recipes. Thank you. Um, we were talking about picking some of your favorite recipes in here. You said that's not totally possible. <laughs> no, you know, it's like picking your favorite child. I, I mean, I, lo I love them all. You know, I have sweet tooth so um, <laughs> some of the baked goods uh, which one of my bakers helped develop of course I like they're a little bit more in uh, detailed for uh, you know the home cook but yeah uh, yeah we just had fun putting them all together and sharing them people were like are you sure you want to share them but um, you know, I always say that everybody's hands are different. Yes. You know, you're not going to have the same waffle maker that we have, and they're all going to sure. turn out. A There's no chance. They're There's no chance that my chicken yes. is going to turn out like yours. It's just not going to happen. No, that one. Okay. I think I think you'll come close. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You don't know my cooking. It's not so great. <laughs> but but I'm excited about this book. So tell me about. Um, you know, we have the holidays coming up, yes. and you always want to bring like the dish to some of these holiday parties. So what would you recommend in here? What What are some great holiday recipes? Well, we have got? a chapter on just sides. I mean, that's one of my favorites and that's one of the, you know, features of both restaurants uh, is to have really good side mm -hmm. dishes and most of them are vegetarian so that vegetarians can select uh, something that works for them. So we have smoked yams. Um, oh, my you know, favorite. Love yeah, those. Yeah, that one, I mean, that's classic for Thanksgiving, I think. We also have, also have some yam wedges in there, which are a little bit simpler to prepare and some roasted green beans. Those are two of my favorites for uh, Thanksgiving. Okay, we'll have yeah. to check those out in here. Yeah. Uh, you have a lot coming up. I mean, you were just busy. You're running around all over the place, <laughs> but uh, you have a great program coming up on TV One, don't you? Uh, no, TV One, <laughs> I did uh, My Mama Throws Down a couple years ago. Tell us, okay, yeah, you have, yeah. you've worked on TV One. I with have, My Mama Throws yes, Down. Okay. and um, yeah, that was fun. Um, Ralph Harris was the host, and we had a lot of fun. There was a lot of laughs. Always fun. Um, and I've been doing some guest appearances on the talk, as you said, mm -hmm. and uh, the Today Show, and I, I love doing that. Um, it's just fun to get out and reach more people and also do some publicity for Oakland where, you know, I have my two restaurants and I live, and I just love that town, and it's great to get out there and show what some positive things that are happening in Oakland. So what's coming next for Brown Sugar Kitchen and B-Sides? <clears throat> you, you mentioned there may be an expansion happening with B-Sides. Yeah, well, uh, we have a space next door at B-Side. We've been doing private events. We've been having uh, actually some performances that are um, kind of um, not spoken word, but more like storytelling there. And that's been really fun for us to kind of get people in there and uh, perhaps building a bar. And then, you know, there's a, another cookbook we're thinking about down the road. Right. Um, so, yeah, just always looking forward, trying to keep busy and seeing what's around the corner. You definitely always keep busy. <laughs> I mean, I was just looking at just like the magnitude of the things that you've been doing. I always say that Facebook makes it and the media makes it look like I'm busier than I am. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you put some stuff but out there. But you Food Network and, yeah. you know. Yeah, no, I keep, you know, I love this industry because there's so many things to do. So I've done some food styling you know, written a couple cookbooks, done the food TV, and uh, it just keeps it really interesting for me. Mm -hmm. And the restaurants, of course. And so what do you see happening next? Well, I'd love to do another Brown Sugar Kitchen or two or three or four. <laughs> I would love that yeah. as well. <laughs> in uh, you know, other locations, <laughs> do a larger one yeah. so that you know people can come in and don't have to wait all the time. I'm really <laughs> flattered that people wait for the food. Um, it's worth but it. But it'd be really fun if, you know, we could you know, we had plenty of seats and, um, you know, we get larger parties in there and things like that. But yeah, we're really proud of this book. Um, 
Michael Shabin, who's a Pulitzer Prize winning author, uh, wrote a beautiful forward and it was just printed in the New York Review of Books. Great. Like one of the first times in, like since 1965 that they've printed something from a cookbook. Incredible. Yeah, so um, that's a big deal. And um, all the features on the uh, regulars are getting a lot of great response. and. Um, so, we're, yeah, we're proud of this little well, book. Well, congratulations on this <laughs> little you. book and your little restaurant right. <laughs> with the big taste. Yeah. Uh, you've really done a lot just to bring West Oakland together with that beautiful space that has really just become kind of a community gathering place and, and a place to be for foodies, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I mean, and great. destination. I mean, people are coming from places beyond, which is Absolutely. really exciting for us to know that we're reaching that many people. You sure are. Yeah. Keep it up. Thank Keep you. Thank and you. And I can't wait to read this and try my hand. I have no <laughs> illusions that it's going to be anywhere near as You're good as yours, but I'll give it a shot. <laughs> For Thanks. more information on Brown Sugar Kitchen and Tanya Holland, you can go to tanyaholland.com. That's tanyaholland.com. We'll be back with more Black Renaissance.